Hi, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to unpivot multiple columns. So maybe you would get a report like this and you want to turn it to something like this where you have the years in one column and the values here. So let's see how this gets done. So as I mentioned before, we want to turn something like this, this table into a more readily accessible table here that we can do further pivots on. And I'll cover two examples of how unpivoting is done and a third example nearer to the end where we can come up with an issue when we're adding columns. So let's get to see how this works. Here I am with the first example and I'm going to cover the unpivot columns and unpivot other columns with this example. Here we have a small data set. To bring this into the Power Query, I will go to data and from table and range Excel is smart enough to realize that this range of data is going to be used to create a table. My table does have headers. Click OK. And the Power Query editor window will come up. And this is where I can do the transformation. So I'm going to show two examples of how the unpivot is done. The first example we can use is with just right clicking and going to unpivot other columns. We want to unpivot the other columns, these year columns. So if I click unpivot other columns, we would have it here. Uh, maybe I can just call this year and that value is fine and go to home close and load it's going to load it onto a new worksheet here and we have our unpivoted column now let's go back into the query double click this and see what happens when we use the other option delete this delete this step and we're back here in the original table the other way we can do it is to select these three, press the control key or the shift key and press the end of this or just press the control and add the multi-select here. Right click and choose unpivot column. And you'll notice that it does the same thing. I can type year here and we've got close and load. It brings us into the same table, right? Now these are both different steps. Let me go back into the Power Query Editor. They're different steps. It looks like they're different steps because if I remove this and do the same thing I did earlier, right click, unpivot other columns, notice the M code here. It says it's going to look at department and give you an attribute and value column and unpivot the other columns. Now that was using the selecting department and unpivoting the other columns. What if we did it the other way? Delete that step. Select this, press shift and select that right click and select unpivot columns. We're going to unpivot these columns that we selected. Look at the M code. It's the same thing. The only thing that was different was the name of that step. Now the nice thing about this is if we add additional columns in the source, close and load this, and here we have our output, but let's go back to the source. Let's say that we decide to add 2020. I'm going to take some data here, control C to copy and then control V to paste. I'm not going to refresh it here. Let me go in to the query and see if it picked it up. Double click that and go back to the initial step where it looked at the source. Did it pick it up? It didn't pick up here because I probably need to refresh this. Refresh the view and it did pick it up and it's going to apply those steps to that 2020. So that's the nice thing about what happened here, right? So we had 2020 here, we've got 2020 here. If I click close and load, it applies it just well. So I would need to refresh this table, right click, refresh, and 2020 shows up here, right? So that's the nice thing about what the unpivot column or unpivot other column does. Now where we get to a problem is if we have data like this, right? So this looks like our initial data, the first table that I had before. Instead of years, I had I have quarters. And this is something that you need to be aware about your data because if we added quarter five, which really doesn't exist because quarters basically are four, um, it would be a problem. But let's say I added something else in between instead of department number or uh, a year or some other, other column. Let's go through the motions and see how this would work. Go to data from table and range. My table does have headers. Click OK. And I'm just going to use the first option to select this particular column, right click and unpivot other columns. I want to unpivot these columns. And I'll have my columns here. I'll call this a uh, quarter. Quarter. 
press enter, and it seems fine, right? Because if I close that and refresh it here, we have our quarters, and that looks great. But what if we added something like this? We had a department here. So I'm, let me go back into the source data here. I need to add and insert a column here and insert this data, the department numbers. I think probably better would have been uh, fiscal years or years, but let's say we add a department number, control C to copy, control V to paste, and go back here into our table three, look at the data. Let's go back to the source and see if it picked it up. It did pick it up. Now go through the steps here. Uh, it changed type. This is something that Power Query adds to change the data types up here to reflect in the values. Now it's going to unpivot the other columns, right? Because we picked the department and it'll unpivot the other columns attribute and value. But we didn't want this department to be unpivoted as part of an attribute. We wanted to have it separate. So to kind of future proof this, we would have to do this a little bit differently. Close that, close that. What we need to do is select the other option, right? So I can select this, press the shift key, select quarter four, because we know that these will not change. There's not going to be a quarter five or a quarter, quarter six. It just wouldn't work that way. Right click and we use unpivot only selected columns, right? So earlier when you saw the unpivot columns, it just had the name of that first column and attribute and value. But watch what happens to the code here. Look how the syntax is written. Right click, unpivot only selected columns. Now it's going to just look at the specific column headers, quarter one, two, three, and four, and unpivot those and have an attribute and value figure, right? And it kept the department number and the department column. This is what we wanted. Now I can change this to quarter, press enter, click close and load, and refresh this, right click, oh, actually it brought it up, great. So it has department, you have department, you have department, department number, and it's not included in this attribute, in this attribute column. Now in the future, let's say something else gets added. Uh, let's just add something else. We'll insert a row, and maybe this fiscal year, this is the year, right? And this is all 2020, or maybe 2019. Control enter to enter it all in there, right? And maybe this can get added and we can, all we need to do now is just refresh and we're gonna have a year there. Right click, refresh, and we have our year there. Now let's pretend that all of this, let's say there's another year there. Control V to, control C to copy, control V to paste. Let's just pretend, let's just make all this data different now again, random. Let's make all this data different. I'll just use a RAND function to change all that. Random between, I don't know, 99 to uh, 300. Control enter to change it all there. These are all random numbers now, but let me change it back to a static number. Control C to copy, and then just paste those values and change this all to maybe 2018. Right, and the change was that we added another column, this year column, and now we're probably appending data down there. Since we use the unpivot only selected columns, which identified quarter one, two, three, and four as those, all I need to do now is just right click and refresh. It's gonna add the year, we can see 2018 down here now, to it. And it doesn't change anything else. So that's a case where we'd use the other unpivot option in Power Query. So there's our examples of using the unpivot with multiple columns in Power Query and what to do if we have added or updated columns in our source data. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.